It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1623, recorded Thursday, May 18th, 2017. No crap here today. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have Dickie D's Choice of Gadgets, a not-so-crappy corner of dog gadgets, and of course, your videos. All next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D, and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz, because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for the Giz Whiz now. now. Now! And here he is, the professor of gadgets with tenure, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How are you doing, Dick Chad, D? I'm doing good, and you, sir? Doing great myself. It has been a, uh, for me, a great week. I've read, I, this, it's almost like spring cleaning, even though spring is basically over and it's time for summer. For me, it's been getting focused, doing work, trying to get all these things that have been on my to-do list out and done. And uh, this week has been going pretty good. Wow, well, actually, everything looks spiffy over there. I've tried. I have tried. Now, not too much has changed on the set, but a lot of internal things have changed forever. We've been plagued with a glitchy webcam that has caused some frame issues. And I think that I have... Sussed out oh, those that was bugs. that cheap that that a cheap thing, uh, glitchy Sonic. I think glitch you bought Sonic, that from. Yes, exactly. Glitch Sonic, yes, exactly. Glitchy Tech, yeah. Glitchy Tech. Yeah, uh, those webcams <laughs> were not so great. No, uh, but no. I we spent had to cut a few corners days. when we started, but now <laughs> yeah. we're. We're yeah, up. I mean, your patron money is going somewhere. I mean, it's yeah, going to the studio. Yeah, exactly. So uh, all sorts of things um, internally with the computer that we use to stream and uh, with, with the whole pipeline on how to get things to that computer and everything. Uh, I spent a few days working on it, sweating in this studio, and uh, I think that we are a lot more solid. Now, of course, it doesn't look much different because I didn't know it's, it's, it's cleaner <laughs> over under that shelf I never exactly. saw the wall over there wasn't exactly. there stuff there yeah there was the computer that I that I use used to be right there because and it, it was hidden cable. by cardboard or something though, yeah. wasn't it? I had a sheet yeah. I had a a, a microphone stand and oh I, okay I extended it out and then put a black sheet over it uh, and that was because of some cable issues that we had. So I fixed that, and now the computer uh, can sit in a much more easily accessible location. And uh, it's also off camera, which is uh, pretty oh, nice. Great, great. Yeah. Well, I didn't do things personally, but I had uh, Bob Kylo, the guy who takes care of my boat, came up from Florida for a week. And I had a shopping list of things he's great at. You know, like the phone line for my drop cams down at the marina is forever breaking because the docks Move jostle around jostle, when, yeah. when tugs go by. So he reinstalled new wires. Um, he installed a 12-volt fan in, uh, in the cabin and then did something. He, he can do unbelievable things. We're out testing the boat, and, and I said, you know what, Bob? I'm suddenly realizing uh, that one of the trim tabs is not working. The trim tabs are in the back of the boat and they're plates that can move up and down so that when people walk around the boat, you can keep the boat balanced. Oh. And I don't have it, but my boat's not, it's too expensive for me anyway, is they now make them so that a computer oh. keeps the boat level for you. It just automatically operates the tabs. Uh, anyway, uh, he was there and he came up and he said, you know, one of your tabs actually started leaking water and it's out of order. And I said, well, if I get one overnighted, can you install it in the water, even though most of it is underwater? And he said, well, we'll give it a try. And by golly, he was able to install a new trim tab half in the water and half underwater. Interesting. So, yeah, so it was great. It was great. That's perfect. Uh, we've yeah. been getting work done. I, so, I swear, this should be the time of the year, like spring cleaning. Man, I, I guess it is. Summer, I guess it summer getting stuff done. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know. Something like that. Yeah. But anyway, also, we... on top of that, I know, I've looked at the rundown. We have gadgets 
that we both love. This is going to be a love-filled episode. This, this is going to be great. This is going to be. We're going to start with a gadget uh, that a woman who I was talking to said, "Oh, if you like really unique gadgets, my company makes one. Let me send you one. You will freak out." And so let's see this first really unique gadget. Dick Bartolo, Man's Madness writer in the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. Isn't this a great lantern? This is with the warm weather here. This is great for outside. Looks uh, like a Windows 10 dinner, logo. <laughs> or it when does. camping in a tent or just about anywhere. It's really beautiful. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the light on. Well, actually, I'll leave it down like that for another minute and show you that if you are out camping and you want to have a lot more light oh wow this raises up and i'm just going to show you that there are lots of leds under here okay and not only that but you can raise this up a lot because this is ta-da on an extension ba -ba. okay so we can raise it back like this tilt it down all right so i'm going to turn the light on so i can talk more about it just hang on all right so there it is okay it's from uh caframo and it's called the candle powered led lamp what okay so we're lower candle the power down and you can see the little candle in there so that gives off that glow and then for the eight LEDs, all you need is that candle. Wow. That, that's what's amazing about this. There is no power. This is the entire power source. Wow. It's a little thermoelectric furnace in there, thermos electro, uh, electric device in there. So it makes that glow and then it generates the electricity for the LEDs. Now, it's not inexpensive. It sells for, let's see, on Amazon, Dennis is enamored with this device. For some reason, I say for outdoor use, but I mean, you're just using this tea light, uh, which people use all the time indoors. So I don't know why you can't use it indoors, but people on Amazon, Love it. It got 4.7 out of five stars. I remember one review I read just said, wow, just wow. This thing is amazing. Now, uh, you can get it cheaper. On Amazon, it's 107.28 uh, mid-May 2017. But I did a web search, and the lowest I could find it for was like uh, about $89. But it's brushed aluminum. Maybe it's, maybe it's stainless. But it is beautifully made, and I'll show you the box, okay, so you know what to look for here. It is the Joy, spelled J-O-I, uh, Caframo, and it's in French here in the back. So uh, let me just tilt it backwards, and we'll read it together. Uh, the Joy Candle Power LED Lamp. That is really neat. And... The uh, instructions say last four hours. And to tell you the truth, I put a stopwatch on it. And it really, it, it was within about three minutes of four hours. To power it, all you have to do is they want the candle wick to be a quarter inch. So you just click it off. Then you drop it in the little uh, thermoelectric furnace, close the door. It takes about four minutes to generate enough power to light the LEDs. I think it's really, it's really ingenious. Um, there it is. That's it. From Caframo, the Joy LED thermoelectric light. Dick DiBartolo, Mads Madness writer, and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. A hundred times more light than this with that. And three times more light with this. Okay, bye. That is a bright idea. That is so. <laughs> Isn't that cool. neat? That is very neat. Um, I have never seen anything like it. 
And, nor I, nor I. And then I'm thinking, how can this light I know. A, eight LEDs? I know. And, and you're it, thinking, like, the, is that power always going to waste whenever you y- use a candle? Yes, I mean, yes, exactly, like- exactly. And as the box says, uh, with that device, you get 100 times more illumination from a tea light than you would if you just lit the tea light. Exactly. So. Yeah. Older Than Dirt is saying something that I was thinking the whole time is that that would be great for emergency use. Is, That's what a lot of people, yeah, yes. Is put that in, in your area that, you know, you keep your camping equipment or whatever, where you keep your flashlights and batteries. And then if the power goes out for an extended amount of time, you know, candles never go bad. You're not going to, no. you're not going to, it's not like a candle will corrode or have an expiration date. Keep those things stocked. And whenever, you know, a disaster happens, you have such clean, consistent, perfect light with those LEDs. Oh man, that yeah. is really, I know. really And, and cool. sometimes we eat uh, dinner out in the backyard. And yeah. when we have guests over, this is perfect for a picnic table at night. You put the lantern down low so it lights the food, but not the people. It, it's it's very ingenious. Yeah, really in, in my Twitch chat, crispy bacon saying better than a kerosene lamp. I didn't even think about that. I mean, how, how, no smell. how dangerous is also to keep the fuel around, you know, keep, yeah. make sure it doesn't tip over. If something like th- was to bump this, it's an itty bitty tea light. That seems so much more safe than many of the other uh, things. Now, the downside, you know, you got convenience, you got cool factor. Downside is price, you know, over, yeah, price. Ex- over 100 bucks. Exactly. That's pretty expensive. Yeah. Um, but uh, what a cool concept, and um, man, that is just very, 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 very neat. Um, so uh, the price, again, on Amazon was 107 It's 107 but if you do a web search, I did a web search, and I found uh, one place, the best I saw was, I think, 85 or $89, mm-hmm. so that's almost $20 cheaper. Yeah, exactly. Uh, very, very. Oh, it, cool. it is stain. I see. It's it is stainless steel. Right. Yeah. It's really great. That really, is really, really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It looks like they're even showing some photos of indoors. I bet that that's a lawyer thing. <laughs> the lawyers said, "Uh, this is for outdoor use only." Yeah, yes, it's weird. But <laughs> and everyone I mean, else went. You could probably use it indoors <laughs> just yes, fine. Yeah, exactly. They went. You exactly. don't want to burn down anyone's house. You know house. how dangerous. You know how dangerous those tea lights are. I know. Those God. tea candles. Tea. Yeah. yeah. Got to cover yeah. our butts. Um, that would be. That is just a really, really cool product. I mean, if if it was less expensive, I'd be buying two uh, or one. I guess I'm not buying any right now. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I, I, this just seems like for emergency preparedness, for cool factor, for for you know traveling or, or doing something outside you're absolutely right this is a very yeah. cool product really neat awesome okay well, now product the, number one is great okay product number two is at the other end of the price spectrum so let's watch that video and here we go to keep our total man's madness dry there and the gizwiz one take theater here at gizwiz.tv you know i like to actually have a camera that sh- uh, shows outside so i can see who's coming in but more often i like to have it so i can see when the mail truck is passing by if i have packages um i can run out and usually uh, get the mail guy when he stops to drop something somewhere else so i started out with a little drop cam and because of the wi-fi signal the drop cam there was too much lag by the time i went outside the mail truck was like uh 50 miles away uh then i hooked up uh, i'm gonna do this this is ready for the gadget warehouse i'll I'll do a story about the lorex so this used i don't know 2.4 or some local wireless connection and it was starting to give up the ghost there was rolling bars and stuff through the uh, picture but now that picture is uh fairly decent okay and we're going to pause for a second because i'm going to disconnect that camera 
and show you okay so you know drop cams like uh 150 to 200 dollars i think there are several models this was uh, maybe a hundred bucks or so very old i don't know maybe eight or nine years old so my new camera was 14 bucks <laughs> okay so that's what you uh were watching on that little monitor this is it here on uh, Amazon. That's so tiny. it's uh we're taping this mid May. It, it was 1368 may still be and you need one other little device. You need uh, a power supply and that's listed down under the camera. It's about $6.50. So basically for under 20 bucks you get a really great picture. It got great reviews on Amazon. So a couple of things to be aware of. So this is hardwired, okay? Um, you can get a hard uh, an extension. I bought a 15-foot extension for it. And uh, it's just video. There's no sound. One of the reasons that it's only 14 bucks. But it got great reviews. And the other thing is... Uh, it has a, B a BNC connector, so you need a little adapter from BNC. We'll go over here again. You see how many adapters I have here? Uh, that's an RCA uh, adapter into a BNC converter that goes into an L-shaped thing that I barrel. wanted so that I could have all these connectors pointing down to hook up to that little monitor. But as I said, it serves my purpose really well. Uh, that's it. Dicky Bartolo, Mads, Madest Writer, and the Gizwiz One Take Theater here at gizwiz.tv. Bye. Wow. So you found now it, it, in that resolution, is it high definition or is it? You know, I. It looks like it's just a you know what, CCTV. It, I, 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 it, it is a CCTV. Um, and it says no night vision. But, you know, the lamppost uh, gives me enough uh, light that I can see people on the street all night long. It's much better than my old uh, camera, that $100 camera. At night, it was pretty much a bl – it was just dark outside. Uh, but this camera – is good enough that the lamppost lights the street and lets me see because it says no night vision but if it's totally dark out you're not going to see anything but if you have a street light or something uh you can see enough and uh the bnc i'm thinking where am i going to get a bnc converter well it turned out that this seven dollar and fifty cent extension i bought came with uh the bnc to rca converter oh, so nice. it it was great it was great that's perfect. And of course since it's hard wide there's no there's never any rolling or right any you're sort never of, gonna have yeah oh the wi-fi any, is acting up today like, yes exactly exactly like the wire oh somebody's generator is making uh in, making uh, lines on my on my screen yeah that is a but, great solution um, yeah and look look at the reviews yeah. A thousand forty three and it got it looks like what four point six? Yeah, four point yeah. six stars. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And a little power converter. Nothing nothing wrong with that. And then of course the uh the camera. Wow, very, very cool. Yeah, yeah. So for thirty bucks I got a whole system that I love. Yeah, that's great. By the way, of course, leave it to the chat room to find a deal. Oh, my God. What did they find now? Uh this was older than dirt, found a different type of a uh, lamp that we showed off as the first gadget. It's the HLC candle oh my power God, they adjustable just... thermal indoor lantern. And this has a 2000 milliamp hour battery backup. So you could charge your devices. And it looks like it has, was that 12 LEDs in there? God, that's so, just an absolute knockoff. So, yeah, it is, definitely. Who knows of quality? Uh, you know, we'd have to oh, get Oh, well, it. look at how they spell lantern. Go back to the... Indoor outdoor lantern. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, very Desco, cool. A desk aroma. I've never heard of of uh, desk aroma. An aroma. Anyway, so there's. Wait, a, that, uh, Chad, go back. Does it generate electric too, or? It looks like it does. It puts also the the extra electricity that it has into a battery. And, oh, I see. And then. 
you could charge your devices. I have no idea what any of this means. No, what is that switch? Charge. Charge. Something on and then pee on. Pee on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, CDL on, and then P. -E oh, candle. On. One must be charge. Candle charge. CDL must be candle. Candle on, and maybe the the P E is the is... light. Do you think the light? Turn the light on. No. Oh I my no, god. I, this is okay. Obviously, there's the uh, there's some user uh, problems here, but uh, <laughs> interesting. And you can see okay, that there's yeah. a little USB port right there, so that you can yes! charge your devices my if you gosh. needed to. But interesting. Oh, my God. Yeah. It looks like we may need to test this out and see uh, see what it is. Piezoelectric. Oh, is piezoelectric. What, okay, P is, is piezoelectric. Is saying. But uh, anyway, of course, leave it well, to the chat room. The chat room's oh. amazing. <laughs> now, let's see if someone can find the uh, $14 uh, webcam for $4. Yeah, exactly. Find the security camera for less. The... Uh, <laughs> And, and I think the resolution is at 540, because so, it keeps saying 540 TVL, which I think oh, okay, okay. stands for the Well, you know, it's certainly though. good enough for what I need. Exactly. You know, I need to see the mail truck. So exactly. So it's great. Exactly. You it's just want great. to up an uh, uh, electronic window outside. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly. And I can see people at the door. So Perfect. Um, all right. So that's Gadget 2. Gadget 3 is also interesting. So let's take a peek at that. The DiBartolo Mads Menace writer and the Gizwiz, one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I have something really unique. I'm going to do the intro over again. I'm going to have Dennis go down there. So this is Dick DiBartolo, Mads Maddest writer and the Gizwiz with one take theater here at gizwiz.tv. <laughs> All right, so I don't know why. It's, it's a little quirky. Anyway, that thing is the Scientech Sound Music Beat Activated Car Stickers Equalizer Glow Blue LED Light Audio <laughs> Voice Rhythm Lamp. Okay. That, a few complaints about off people the going, oh, it looks like it takes up the whole window of the car in the picture. And yet it's only this big. That's how big it is right there. It's a mini I Cooper. I guess that's a really mini, <laughs> it's a, it's mini It's a mini, mini, mini Cooper, I think. Yeah. Uh, so this guy, some, uh, some bad things about it is you can set the audio level, but it's very hard to get the level where it, it seems to either be dead or it goes to the point where the bars almost fill up all the time. I'll let you hear what it, what it, I'll let you hear. I'll let you hear and see what it looks like when we play uh, a touch of music here. And uh, let's go to the Gizwiz theme, a, a Gizwiz theme. So it's kind of fun. The great thing about it, it, it is 11 bucks. Let me just stop this before uh, something else plays here. Um, so 10.99 on Amazon. Got 3.5 out of 5 stars. And another complaint. You know, I, I think I told you on past uh, videos that I usually buy two of everything, and I'm glad I did. Uh, the first one worked for about three minutes, and then it just went dead. And a few people in the comments section said the same thing. Um, it played great for, someone had, it, it went dead after five minutes. Someone said it played for a, a day and went dead. Most people don't bother returning it because it's 1099 and you gotta box it up and all that stuff. Uh, but if it works, like this one's been working almost for two days now. Um, oh, and then someone asked, is this legal in all 50 states? No one answered. Nobody so knows. No idea how legal or illegal this is. 
That's it. And, oh, and some complaints about the tape. It's uh, Mark 3M. But I think this is three Murray, Mary, and Marty. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the other 3M. But it's a fun thing. Uh, I'm actually going to put it on a wall here in the studio because it will be kind of fun. Oh, uh, this looks like about 15 feet of wire. It, oh, yeah, I'll tell you this other thing. So it comes with this little box. This little box has the mic in it, okay? So you sort of have to put the mic where in your car or wherever you're going to use it so the mic can pick up. Sensitivity control is on the side and there's an on-off switch. And then there's uh, about six feet of wire from uh, the... It, it comes with a cigarette lighter attachment there, okay? So this was ten ninety nine. And then um, it was another $25,000. I had to buy that car so I could try it. Anything for the Gizwiz show. Dick D. Bartolo, Mads Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. One take theater here at gizwiz.tv. I have to sew this onto a shirt. Bye. <laughs> and now, five days, it is still It's working. still working. It still works. That's good. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of fun. Yeah. It sounds like it's uh, it's making a sound like a. You know what? <laughs> yes, you don't you don't <laughs> hear it if anything's playing. Right. But a few people in the reviews said the high pitched noise drives me crazy. <laughs> it sounds like a video uh, game character jumping off of. Uh, it does. Boing, boing, it boing, does. Boing, boing. Um. Like cool I said, light if, show. You have, if you have thir- if you have thirteen bucks, uh, eleven bucks, and you want to play, it's it's not a a, a bad thing. Yeah, exactly. and and uh, 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 Alex and uh, from Twit was here today, and and uh, uh, you know I said my first one broke, and he said, well, someone can probably do something with it even when it's broke, and and this guy that works on my boat, I gave it to him. I he said, oh, uh, if it doesn't work, I can use. That equalizer, I can power that up some different way. So it's like a fun project, like I said, for 11 bucks. Yeah, I like it. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, you know what you're getting into when you buy it, but uh, yeah. it's fun. Mm. And uh, yeah, I, I could definitely see that on a wall in a studio being uh, really, really neat. Um, so cool. So, <laughs> and I love the title. I love Amazon titles. The- <laughs> oh, I know. They're, they're, they're funny, aren't they? <laughs> Sign tech sound music beat activated car sticker equalizer glow blue LED light voice rhythm lamp. Uh, so <laughs> that's all you gotta search for on Amazon. Of course, check our show notes if you want to link to Yes, the it'll be there. Uh, an easy way to get there. <laughs> Perfect. With that. With that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for you Chad's crappy or possibly not so crappy corner. corner. Get it. I caught myself a blue thing. Uh, so oh my God, is that an ice cream scoop? Oh, the biggest. This is, uh, I'm, I've been on an ice cream diet, and this is. <laughs> Only, not really a diet to lose weight, but that's just been my diet. Oh, my God. Um, that looks like something Carvel needs or uh, <laughs> Ben and Jerry's. So uh, this is to uh, solve a problem that I was having with, uh, with Charlie, my dog. And, uh, you know, instead of uh, explaining it too, too much, uh, I, we recorded a video. So uh, let's run that video. Hey, Dickie D. Oh, great. We're out in the backyard again. Hey, Char Char. This is your new toy. This is a gadget that I uh, sincerely hope is not a crappy gadget uh and this is the problem i'm trying to fix charlie for some reason likes to play with his bowl char char you like it you want it (laughs) uh and so he will dump out his water constantly and so i'll have to like three or four times a day fill up his water so that he can stay hydrated uh and so enter in the new gadget the easy clean water bowl that should auto fill um using the hose so this oh, device nice uh, the will be able to plug it up to the um the faucet here uh with a hose and then this will fill and you can also open it up and clean it out pretty easily or so they claim so we'll, we'll, it looks it looks pretty good so far so the pieces are the bowl some instructions, looks pretty good. 
a hose and a brush to clean it. I don't think we need much of this. Okay, there was a little bit of twist ties on this. Now, one thing that is nice and that they uh, advertise is that this is a steel wrapped tube, so the dog wow. should not be able to bite through it or anything like that. So we're gonna go ahead and hook it up to the faucet here. <laughs> Pretty simple enough, looks good. Charlie, Charlie's very interested. Charlie said, hook that so up. Far? You like it? Okay, I think, I think he's excited. <laughs> Now we're going to plug it up to the other end of the water bowl. It feels pretty tight on there. And you can see the mechanism on how this works is that this little lift valve uh, is fill up, filled with air. So when the water comes in, this will uh, raise and then it will stop the flow of water, hopefully. Let's go ahead and set it down. Char -char. Okay, we're gonna test your bowl. This is gonna be your new your new water bowl. Here we go, I'm gonna turn it on. Is that tested out? Good boy. Oh wow, he likes it. Charlie likes it. It's like he knew what to do. I think he licked the camera there. There we go, so it has stopped itself. That's pretty great. I think it works out. Uh, Fantastically. Charlie loves it. It's, it's like I, I made sure you didn't have any water before we recorded. This is great. What do you think, Char Char? I think that this is a good gadget. Yeah. It's still filling in up a little bit. And you can see the mechanism. If I push this down, it'll fill it with water. Wow. And when it's uh, up, it, uh, it, it stops itself. That's great. Okay, Char Char. Well, I think that uh, it worked out. Now we'll have to wait a little while to make sure that he doesn't chew it like he uh, chews his other bowl. Yeah, I see the other uh, bowl looks like it chewed <laughs> so all so the good. edges. Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Uh, so I, I haven't had enough time. He hasn't um, uh, chewed it yet, which is good. Uh, but I still feel like he maybe needs a, a, a day or two to, to get used to it. Also, that bowl, I got it when, you know, he was brand, brand new a few months ago, and he's kind of stopped chewing stuff that aren't his toys, so I do feel like uh, that's a little bit be better. Um, so I do like, so n not only do I like the design and the, uh, the valve works great, but like I showed in the video that this opens up, so that you can get any muck or gunk or oh, that's great! Right or stuff out of of the bowl that uh, has has accumulated over the the you know the weeks that it'll be there, and for me this really uh, solves uh, a pretty inconvenient issue of um, you know Charlie would knock over his bowl all the time and and it would uh, you know I'd want to make sure that he had water, which kind of felt like a constant chore. And so this has a nice wide base. Uh, it will, of course, autofill whenever it gets, uh, gets low. Now, some other things that I like about this product is that it has quite a few attachments as well. If uh, maybe you have a bigger dog or if you live in a climate where the water may freeze. So first off, the price. Oh. Uh, the price is $39.99, so 40 bucks. And some of the attachments include, let's see if we can find them here, uh, the heating element that goes below the bowl, and it has a way to, we may have to uh, find this easy clean water bowl on uh, Google. Um, so the attachment that will um, heat, it, heat it up in the, in the winter. And then also there could be an attachment where it could uh, could fit onto the side of your house, so it would be a harness so that oh, uh, oh I see so that you can um, uh, attach it at uh, a higher level for many uh, animals or th this also works for livestock or if you have a really really big dog that you don't want bending over to get at the water bowl all the time uh, easy easy clean oh, water it's a car bowl. stopper too it, apparently yeah it's, if, if you got to make sure it's a t it's a truck. Uh, uh, easycleanwaterbowl.com and you can kind of see what I'm talking about the, uh, the accessories here uh, you got a heating element that will heat heat it uh, this you can see the metal stand also if Charlie likes tea in the winter <laughs> exactly heated tea <laughs> the heating element there you go so there's a heating element added wow. to the bottom 
and also, of course, the stand. So uh, there's quite a lot uh, with this. Uh, th that you know that that's really neat, Chad, because it it heats the hose. Yeah. All the way, all the way up to where you hook it to. Right. Exactly. You don't want the hose Boy, freezing. Boy, that's clever. Exactly. Exactly. So, anyways, there's a lot uh, with this. Now, I, I probably won't have the issue of the. Uh, I won't need to buy the heating accessory here in Texas. Uh, I'll just probably just you know be a little bit mindful of it uh, when we get into cold seasons or not let Charlie out at all. Um, but yeah, it, it seems really nice. They also have you know different types of hoses. Uh, if you need a longer run and you're not worried about uh, an animal chewing on the hose, I was worried about Charlie chewing on the hose, so I wanted to get the, uh, uh, the other uh, option of the steel hose. Um, but all together, I've, uh, I've just really, really enjoyed uh, this product, and it seems like very well thought out. And also, it seems like this is kind of a mom-and-pop shop, that they make a great product, and um, uh, I like supporting you know, businesses that I feel like... Uh, or like that so you can see this uh type of way to to mount it on wow the wall or, yeah on the wall or something well that's like that. very good yeah so that is the easy fill easy clean what's funny is to me it was like i was really excited that it was going to auto fill they seem to really be excited that you can clean this very 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 easy yeah easy clean water bowl um, and, uh, so I'm going to, I'll probably have to do a, uh, a gadget, uh, uh, callback later to see if Charlie has decided to use this as a chew toy, um, or not. <laughs> but, uh, at the moment he hasn't decided that, uh, this is a, a chewable, uh, product. So something that will, and you have, you have no trees close by that will, leaves will fall into it. No, not near the porch. Not where the uh, not where the the water hose is. Oh, great! That's so, great. You know, that's good uh, for me. Yeah, I guess you would want to be aware of leaves or other debris. Yeah, we we had a we had a little fountain in the backyard uh, mm -hmm. years ago, but it was impossible to keep it running because leaves kept falling in. But if that's you know in a uh, not near a tree, that's going to be great. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, it's not quite a set it and totally forget it forever uh, because it will probably get moldy and yeah. you'll want to clean it out every once in a while. Uh, but also, it, it, I barely showed it off quickly, but it comes with a little brush that should be perfect for cleaning it. Um, so you can get down in there and get over oh, in, yeah. the, in the grooves and stuff like that. And it's very, you know, there's no real harsh, hard angles or right angles that'll be hard to scrub. It's all... Uh, very smooth to, to get at. So, anyway, the Easy Clean Water Bowl. Uh, you can get it on Amazon or uh, EasyCleanWaterBowl.com. And the cost. Nice. You know, I th I may have spayed, spent ten dollars extra on Amazon. It's uh, thirty nine ninety nine, and it looks like uh, the oh maybe I got a longer hose, but uh, it's only twenty nine ninety five over on their website. So, uh, and then 35 oh. for the 10 foot, uh, so, hose. I, I, oh may my have, I may have spent extra for the, uh, for the convenience of buying off of Amazon. Uh, oh, that's interesting. But, uh, so yeah, check out their website and Amazon, uh, for, yeah. for the products. Uh, with that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Foghorn. And this week's viewer video is from Jason Pedicord. P-E-D-D-I-C-O-R-D. Uh, and Jason said, I took this video while waiting in my semi. I assume he means his truck. And uh, I include some pictures of something else I made. We can see those afterwards, but let's look at Jason's video from inside his truck. And here we go. Hey, Dick and Chad, fellow gadget fans. I've got several items for you today. One is GPS that is designed for use with uh, service trucks, semis, etc. You punch in your truck information 
and you know where and you can and cannot go because of weight limits, etc. Over here, I have a Note 4 cell phone from Samsung, which, considering I have a hard case, yeah, it survived pretty good. I have a dash cam, which I carry a couple spare SD cards for, because the, more than once I have given a police officer the SD card to use as evidence at something that I have had the camera record. Mm. But the real item I really want to talk about and show you guys is what's called a gear rack. It's made by Braxton. It's under their Trucker Tough line. It's a flexible bar. With, and here you can see on the back side, oh, it has knobs yeah. so you can adjust everything. It comes actually with just two brackets, not three. I bought the third one extra so I could put my phone on it. The suction cups here are nice and sticky and they're heavy duty so you do cannot... So you can mount to your dash or any other location that you can get the flex bar to mount to. You don't have to mount to a window. More and more places are not telling anybody, but they're not allowing anything to be mounted to a window. And they can give you a ticket for that. And that's a pain because you, you just don't know where you can and cannot have stuff mounted to the window anymore. But the real item that might be of interest to Dick is what I'm using to record this. It's a look -see 2 Bluetooth headset. Wow. And a long time ago when Dick used to do it with some guy named Leo, this <laughs> <Who's> podcast, <that? laughs> he talked about him. Had to get one. Talk to you guys later. <laughs> that is awesome. What an awesome, that's like a whole warehouse of tons of stuff in there. Stuff, yeah. Oh and he, he did say uh, in his note that he made a mistake. It's from uh, uh, Bracketron. Oh. And I, I put a, a, a link to it. And also, so that's what it looks like. It, it's, uh, there it is. Now, the on their website, it, it's just different of what have you happened before. On their website at Bracketon, it is, I believe, $59. I think it was on Amazon, it was $49. But I found this. Uh, are you on the, on the Crutchfield website? Do you yeah, know? Yes. definitely. Yeah. They have the best price I've seen, uh, $24.99. And wait a minute. Oh, you know what? It looks like it. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I think... Chad, I, I think that this is just an accessory for the bracket. Ah, this thing? Yes. It almost looks like a camera. I'm, I'm like trying to just, oh, it's yeah, a cigarette I, lighter. Yeah, interesting. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it's a cigarette lighter in the front, and it looks like yeah, there's USB, USB in, the in the back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh, okay, okay. Oh, you see, they show, they show that. But I don't think they're selling that. They're, they're showing the actual bracket right. that we, we saw in the video. I don't know. But it looks like it may come with it because these are great. Boy, out. that would be that would be a great deal. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm, hmm. You know, you, you may be right because it's showing the two uh, electronics like faded out gray. Out. Yeah, exactly. And in that in in that case, that would be a great deal. You would get the Bracketron with the one device that would be a cigarette lighter on the front a cigarette lighter plug on the front and two usb charges in the back for 25 bucks for 25 bucks very worth it Boy, i've never seen a product great. like that but there's I, i've been in cars that need this product you know not semi rigs i you know i've seen uh you know my my dad's car my mom's car that the window is just so far away Yes, I, I'm really thinking about this sense. to the boat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's a really cool product. I really like it. Um, yeah, very, very, very interesting. The Bracketron. That Bracketron uh, from Jason. And can you show the, the couple of photos he sent? Uh, he did, I sent you the this letter. This one I see. 
Right. Yeah. Oh, that's on my yeah, that's on my website. But uh, I emailed you his letter, and he said, "Dick, here's a couple of photos of something else I oh, came up with. Crap. If not, it's no problem." Yeah, I don't have it ready. Right yeah, here. That's, that's no problem. Okay, cool. Um, but so Critchfield, and I have the link to the Critchfield thing in the uh, in the show notes. Uh, I may end up buying one there too, especially if it comes with that cigarette lighter and uh, USB charging thing. You know, they're all, you know what, uh, n- never owning a car, do they still put cigarette lighter plugs in them? Bec- I yeah. guess they have to. It's yeah. pretty much everything, in- including that, that uh, my special, including this, you need to plug into, <laughs> did it stop working? Uh, one, one, one. <laughs> there it oh, goes. No, it's now it's done. No. Now, uh, yeah, you, you need to plug that into a cigarette lighter. Um, and that was interesting. What he said is that some places you cannot mount things to your window, yeah. which is going to be a shock to a lot of people because I see more stuff hanging from windshields in cars. And also, I think it's just so cool to have a GPS that is focused on a, a semi, uh, you know, situation where there's plenty of roads, even in a U-Haul, that you start to drive down, and then it seems like a few feet into the road, they, you see the sign that says, no big trucks. And you go, oh, can't just turn <laughs> yeah. around now. It's like I'm committed. Uh, I do have those images, uh, finally. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll read what he says. I'm also sending you some pictures of something I made for grocery shopping that keeps things from sliding around in the bed of my wife's pickup. I use marine grade plywood and several wheels on the bottom so it rolls in and out easily. Uh, I built this back in 2015. The folding crates I bought in January of this year, with the crates in place, we only make three trips instead of many more when we take the groceries inside. Oh, I see. This is very clever. Yeah, this so is really neat. So those are folding bins. You put all your groceries in, and when you get to the house, instead of going in and out with a dozen bags, you, you just carry, carry a nice the rigid plastic yep. crate, which is fantastic. Right, with stuff. Yeah. And they fold Very down quick. really nicely. Yeah, look at the that. The thing that slides very... back. Yeah, that's really very nice. Clever. This seems like something a, pro- a product people should sell. This is great. Yes. Very yes. cool. Well, awesome. Uh, Thank you so much for the Jason, video. Jason, and all so, the... J- yeah, J- yes. for the suggestions. Uh, Jason, you got a Mad Magazine. Uh, I assume you live in the state. Yeah, I'm sure you live in the States. Also, it's nice that, that he runs around with SD cards, handing them out to cops, saying, yeah, I saw that accident. Here you go, officer. I know. Oh, yeah, I saw that guy's brake light. Yeah, here you go, officer. That seems like it's so clever and convenient, and at the same time, I'm glad I've never had to do that, you know? It's like yes, I yes, that was like, so horrible. I guess I when hand you're out away. on the road, yeah, when you're out on the road all the time, you see that stuff. Uh, so Jason gets uh, the current issue of Mad Magazine, an Alfred E. Newman photo, and we're looking for more videos. We we love videos from uh, new folks, people who haven't submitted before, and pretty much the gadget warehouse segment is a view of video segment. So like Jason, it can be a gadget that he bought and loved, it could be a gadget you bought and hated, uh, a gadget that's sitting in the warehouse because it's 20 years old and it's broken, but it meant a lot to you when it was new. Make a two to three minute video about that. Pretty much anything that in- involves a gadget, put it up on YouTube. There's a little drop down menu when you upload, you hit that and you click unlisted. Okay. Unlisted, send us the link. Unlisted means that only people you send the link to uh, can view it. And uh, do it soon because I th- think we have no view of video for next week. Uh, mail goes to your, your submission goes to mail at gizwiz dot TV, two to three minute video, put it on YouTube, send us the link, do it now, do it now. And with that, let's now go to the letter.
<laughs> okay. Our letter is from Steve Miller. Hi, Dick and Chad. I enjoyed your segment on magnetic USB cables, Chad. Yeah. I have a few I bought from different vendors several months ago. I really liked them. Today, I found an even better solution at Indiegogo. They are adapters that change your current cables into magnetic cables. Do you have, um, Interesting. So you can take a lightning cable, plug it into that, and then make it a USB Type-C cable, it seems like. Um, let's see, this is a three minute video from the creators. Okay. Ah, when I think of cables, I think of basketball. Imagine. <laughs> the world's I love when they do these roundabout. I know. Here we go. With 18 karat gold plating and the world's strongest magnets. Like I'm buying a car. X Connect adapter. <laughs> Connect to all your mobile devices using your own cable. Wait. My own cable? It works by connecting oh, the two. Okay, I, we get it. Well, wait a minute. Isn't this the same? How is this different from the one you showed? So the one that I showed, it w you'd buy their you cable. Had it? You would, it would be a whole cable that oh, came. Okay. And so this is it, just the top part, just the adapter. So okay. you could plug in your lightning cable into it. Uh, or your USB Type-C or your micro USB. Oh, and then oh, it can switch between any of the different oh, formats okay, okay. on top of that. Um, I assume, uh, well, that, that my might, that assumption might... is no data when that happens. That's just my assumption, though. Oh, um, okay. And how, how much were your cables? Because these are $15 each, I think. Um, there's a lot of cables out there. And oh, that do that? Okay. Yeah, I mean, they range from all sorts of pri prices. Let me look at the one that I specifically bought. I yes, know that yeah. there were some cheaper uh, that didn't have as good of reviews and there were some definitely more expensive. Mine, mine was $15 okay. um, as well. But okay. I wasn't the so like, it didn't seem like a big sticking point that it was like, oh, I have to use their cable? I can't <laughs> use my cable? Um, so, don't know the uh, use okay. cases. Well, th this word. is you would you if you had three different phone. Like now, I use micro and I use USB C. Right. So I you would just carry the two little uh, converters around with you. Right. Uh, but with the, with yours, it would be the same thing, right? You'd buy two cables to get. The, oh, they don't have USB C yet, do they? Yeah, this one doesn't. But doesn't. Okay. So the one on Indiegogo does, but I don't think it's shipping uh, for several months. Yeah. Um, anyway, Steve Miller said, I am TARDIS writer in the chat room when I remember to tune in when you're alive. I've been a Gizwiz listener of you since the third month with uh, Dick and Leo. Uh, also a proud Patreon supporter since the beginning Woo! of independent Gizwiz. So thank we thank you. you for that, Steve. Yeah, that is awesome. Uh, uh, thank you so much for your support. Okay, yes. so that is the X-Connect world's first cross-device magnetic adapter. Um, and it looks like you can... Uh, and I have, a, I have the link uh, with Steve's letter on my website. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, with that, uh, we're coming to close to the end of the Gizwiz here. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to all of our patrons, just like Steve. Uh, thank you, Steve, and thank you, everybody yes. else who supports the show. Uh, you guys really do make the show happen. Thank you so, 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 so much. Patreon.com is a uh, platform for you to support on the independent content creators like the Gizwiz. And our show has a Patreon at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Pretty simple to re uh, remember it. You can also go to gizwiz.tv and click the Patreon tab. Uh, while you're at gizwiz.tv, there's also a PayPal link. If uh, you don't want to support through Patreon, uh, Patreon is a 
more like a reoccurring payment uh, platform. So, uh, and then it charges you at the end of the month for how many uh, cycles that you've uh, you backed. And so, if you want to, and people can can uh, pledge fifty cents uh, yep. an episode if they want. Exactly. It, it, we're we're not like you got, it's got to be five dollars an episode, <laughs> and that's it. You know, you can you can choose your, your own amount, and uh, seriously, any anything, even the fifty cent donations are just fantastic. So thank you so much for your support of the Gizwiz. Um, and that is really a, a huge help. Independent shows are fantastic. So thank you. Yes, yes. Uh, we um, don't answer to anybody. No, not even the ourselves. You know, yeah, except for the patrons. Uh, Gizwiz.biz is our, uh, you know, we have two websites that are uh, the completely equal. Gizwiz.biz is where Dickie D writes up all of the gadgets, uh, reviews, and nice articles. Uh, we just kind of link to them on Gizwiz.tv. What the heck? And uh, you can also play What the Heck Is It? while you're there at Gizwiz.biz. This is the gadget we're trying to guess. What it is. We see the image. We don't know what it is, though. Uh, this, we do not. We do not. Uh, this is obviously a uh, safety bicycle wheel. Uh, you know, bicycle wheels have those spokes. Too dangerous. This has been made safe and kid-friendly uh, to use while biking around That's pretty good. Town. That's pretty good. Uh, if you know what this is, uh, you can submit your guess here. Uh, there's 12 mad magazines for correct answers. But if you don't know what this is, it gets even better. Because you can make up an answer that is clever, funny, or interesting and submit that. And there's 24 mad magazines available at the end of this contest for you guys. So double the mad magazines. Uh, thanks so much for watching. You can watch our show live at gizwiz.tv. We're live every Thursday. When do you, when do, you do that? Because I want to watch that one time. It's, when is it's that? About Thursday, Thursday-ish. You know, sometime. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Thursday, around four thirty Pacific time, seven thirty Eastern. Oh, time. that's like yeah, that's like right now kind of time. That's about yeah. It's okay. A, yeah. It was, yeah. Yeah. Just about an oh, hour okay. ago. About as long as the show was ago is when we okay. started ish. You know, not an exact okay. science, but. Uh, and uh, if you don't catch it live, of course, you can subscribe at gizwiz.tv. And uh, if you watch it live, we encourage you to join the chat room, talk along, make some friends. Uh, we still haven't had a chat room marriage yet. I'm, I'm trying to work on uh, Captain J. <laughs> uh, and uh, there's another member of the chat room is, you know, I, I got to tie the knot. Uh, we got to have a chat room marriage. Come yeah, on. Yeah, that would be good. That would be good. <laughs> Just kidding around. Um, and that about wraps up this show. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. And I'll be here. <laughs>